Previously on Mincraft. Okay, I think this is a bit out of my league to do live, so I'm just gonna give up on it now. <laughs> and move on to it later when I have more time. You know what? I feel like going to visit Dart's place. Dart hasn't been on the server in forever, but I don't know. Maybe you guys haven't seen what his place looks like in a while. I can't. I can't. I, oh. Oh. Whoa. What's up everybody and welcome back to Mincraft. Today I'm going to be showing off something that I've actually been working on for the past... Uh, well last night it took me about two hours to finish. It actually told, only took me about half an hour to build but the majority of the time was the tracks but... Yeah guys, I built a track selector. Hit the button, put down the track, hold on. Put down the minecart, go inside of it and wherever you put it to... Spider spawner. Let's go to the spider spawner. Spider spawner is that way. Go to the spider spawner. And then once you want to come back from it, it just turns off this way, which goes over here. Just takes you all the way back here. And a similar thing happens for every single one of these tracks. I don't really think I need to go through and show you guys each of them. The only one that gets kind of weird is this one where I had to put in sensors. Because from here, uh, the way you come back is you either come this way, and this is back from the zombie spawner. I made it so that the zombie spawner, you actually just go around this way, and you go here. But uh, other than that, doing, doing the tracks was pretty simple, but the actual redstone for this... I pretty much copied based off of memory, but I didn't actually know how it worked. But, uh, you know, I actually figured out a method of figuring redstone out that's actually, like, very, very, very useful. And um, I'm actually going to try to explain this to you guys. And the reason why I think that I'm actually going to be able to, like, explain this to you guys well is because the, the way that this works is, first off, you get rid of everything that you don't actually need. Those don't help. Those don't help with the redstone at all. All that they do is light up the torches up there, which you don't need right now. Those are just for show. But the way that this works is, number one, I'm gonna reset it. Now the way that you reset it is, um, each of these, this this line here, what this line does is when it's powered, it turns on these redstone down here because, hold on, one sec, let me get some redstone. What happens with redstone is that if it's get if it's powered in a line like this, it powers whatever whatever is touching this um, uh, one sec, whatever's touching the the block that it's on top of. So it's like that, right? So what happens is when it's powered like that, when it powers the block underneath it, it's powering all of these right here, which turn the bottom torches off. It turns all of them off. It's effectively a reset switch. It's nothing else than that. But the second thing that these buttons do is these buttons turn on this this redstone wire here, and then it activates one of these, which powers this block. So what happens is what that looks like is it's like this. It's like um, it's like that pretty much. You could have the same thing. You could have the same thing with a repeater. So it's like both ways, right? You could have it like that, like next to each other. And when one of them is powered, it powers the other one. So what that does is um, when this is powered, what happens is when like a, a block has a power source on top of it with the redstone torch on it, like this. With the, with the repeater, it doesn't work. But with a, a, a block uh, with, a, with a little redstone dot on it, when it's powered, it actually turns the redstone off. Hold on one sec. I'm going to try to see if I can make a better example of that. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Um, no. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it obvious that this can stay a circle and it will still turn off this redstone. Whatever. I'll just try to take it that you guys understand that. Then what happens is when this gets turned off, this gets turned off as well, which means that this will turn back on and it will lock it in place because then th when this turns on, it's constantly powering this block, which is constantly powering this, which is unpowering this, which is making this unpowered. So it looks something like this. See? This stays powered, 
which keeps this block powered, which keeps this, which keeps this powered. Something like that. I guess that doesn't work. You need the you need to get the block powered like individually like this. Yeah. Keeps it unpowered. And the reason why this keeps it unpowered is that there's now the the power that goes to this is just it's itself, you know, it's just the power itself. The power of one. And then what happens is you just make the repeater go over here and all the redstone comes down and you just make an inverter here. What this does is all of these redstone things, all those redstone torches, keep these tracks switched. They keep them switched this way so that when you're going down on your cart, you just pass by all of them. And then once you get to the one that's automatically switched by because it's turned off, you just automatically turn that way. So... That's how that that's how the track selector works, and um, it's decently simple. I mean, the only part that like is unnecessary is this top part. That's just to keep these lights on, which is just, you don't need to you don't. It's not really important. Well, that's strange. One sec. There we go. I was wondering. Anyway. But that's how the track selector works. I figuring it out actually took longer than building it, just because it was like it's it's, it's a complicated piece of redstone. I really like explaining this sort of stuff to you guys, though. I don't know if you guys really understand it, though. So if you guys can like say if, like, also it's it's debatable if it's interesting or not to you guys. Which I don't know. I mean, I hope it is. I I find it's incredibly interesting, but. If you guys don't think the same, I don't know. This isn't going to be the whole episode, so stick around. I don't know. Uh, another thing that I've been doing recently is also, well, one last thought. I'm going to get Zach to cover it all up. I'm going to get Zach to be the one to like actually make it look good with the walls and everything. I was the one that put in all the the tracks and the hardware and everything. He's just going to put down the, like, the walls and everything to make it look good. I'm going to ask him to, but... Other than that, one thing that I've been doing recently is I've been enchanting books, and oh my god, books are so much better to enchant than actual materials, because it just, it makes more sense, it just, it makes more sense to, to, to enchant books, because what happens is, say that you enchant, say that you enchant three diamond boots, and you get one of them with feather falling four. Without, I'd much rather enchant nine books and get one book with Feather Falling 4 because then I have eight other enchanted books that I can just add to whatever I want. Like say that in those nine I got like an Unbreaking 3 or like um, or, or um, Efficiency 4 or something, which is actually what happened. Like I have this chest packed, packed with good enchants. Uh, I love how I start right off with Bane of Anthropos. I mean like... Like efficiency four in chance, sharpness three is not bad, unbreaking three, smart four, sorry, smite four, respiration three. Respiration three is not bad. I think my helmet has actually respiration three. I could make that better, I think. And um, let's see, power four. Yes, power four is really good. Sharpness three, protection three. Protection three is actually really, really good. I can't wait to put that on like, uh, like my helmet or something. I want a full set of protection armor. I don't know. Didn't they nerf it? Didn't they make it like less less good? It's not as great. Oh my god, I have two unbreakings? Sweet. I have two unbreaking threes. I have three unbreaking threes. Sweet. That's great. Uh, two efficiency fours. Uh, thorns two. And two feather falling fours. Look at that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if feather falling five exists. I'm down to find out though. Because I think that feather falling five would be ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, and another efficiency four. My God. Okay, sweet. Um, this is why I like enchanting books because number one, it opens up so many more possibilities for enchants because the cost of enchanting something is actually ridiculously low. Uh, like like say that I want to grab my feather falling and I want to go enchant my boots over here. It's gonna cost me. One sec. It's gonna cost me. 
nine levels, and I'm gonna get protection four, feather falling four, boots, which are pretty ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. And then I can throw unbreaking on them if I want to. I'd love to have unbreaking on all my armor. That'd be awesome. But uh, I'm probably gonna start doing some enchants later on today. But because right, because that requires mob farming. Which I don't exactly want to sit there in front of a mob farm killing things while you guys watch. It's just, it seems a bit boring. I mean, I don't even do it. I play Dota while I'm farming. And, um, yeah. So essentially that's kind of what's been new. I want to go to one of the places. What are, what's a good place? What's a cool place? Let's go to the Skeleton Spawner. Yeah. Skeleton Spawner is... Oh. What the hell's going on? Oh, right, 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 right. What happens is I actually... I, 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 the redstone that I took... Um, <laughs> fucked with the track, so... <laughs> that was my bad. So, I think skeletons give the most XP out of all the farms. Look at this motherfucker. The hell? I've never seen... I've never seen skeletons spawn there. One sec, do I have any sort of light? I... Okay, I'm just gonna say I don't. I was like, alright, I kinda do with redstone torches. Not really. Hold on, let's go ahead and go this way then. Bum ba da da ba da 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 I'm actually gonna, yeah. I'm wondering what, what, what I should do for these walls. I'm thinking just stone, because stone actually looks pretty cool, but... I don't know. I, I don't want to make it a 3x3. Three three. It's just, it's so much, it's just... I gotta stop leaving this thing on. <laughs> but yeah. All the enchant tables. I started, like, putting random stuff in here just to open up inventory space. Shears. That's actually one thing I wanted to do. I want to get um, uh, level 30 enchant on these books. Where are they? Where are my books? I actually don't have any books on me, but... I want to get level 30 enchant on one of the books, which is going to give me silk touch, which is going to give me a silk touch shears. And I remember that you can get some sick stuff with silk touch, silk touch shears. I forget what you can actually get, though. I think it's ice. I want to say ice, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, I remember there's like a certain block you can only get with silk touch shears. I forget what it is, though. I just got bug me. Um, what was it? I seriously, I don't even. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to look this up then, because I remember it was like a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool uh. Block. I was down to have it. Oh yeah, and um, those of you who watched some previous episode. Yeah, I didn't actually notice that the button was on the block. And these all come down. And that's how it gets farmed. It gets farmed. I don't know why Zach doesn't just put like like that there so they don't get caught up on the on the side. Whatever. This is Zach's project. He wants to he wants to change it up and I don't want to screw with it because then he might yell at me and <laughs> Zach Zach beats me. And then, uh, all the stuff comes down here. And you just replant it. Carrots, I don't exactly know why he's farming carrots. I mean, I'd prefer to have potatoes because... Potato... What the hell? Oh, right. Nothing. Um, potatoes, you can actually cook them and they saturate you a lot better than freaking carrots. But, whatever. Zach's idea. Zach's problem. You do what he wants. I'm thinking it's just like adding an extra like one to, for potatoes. Because we don't exactly... We have like so much wheat, so much carrots. and Like like adding a farm like this is just... it. It's You just get too much of it. You end up with too much. You only need to run this like once a week maybe. Like not even once a week to get all your stuff. Like, I don't need these carrots. I don't need all this. All... I'm just replanting it because courtesy, you know? I don't want Zach to come back and be like, God damn it, Matt. 
to harvest and then not plant? I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. And he will hurt me. Cool. Yeah, and then we have we have a reed farm over there that I'm not even gonna touch. Seriously, fuck that place. Too many items. Way too many items. You can farm them like mega easily, but I just don't want to deal with it because it's too much. Okay. Hold on. How did I? That's weird. The math was wrong in my head. How is... Hold on. Okay, it's because this one's probably wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one's probably six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. How did 64 carrots get me up to, like, here? But 64 seeds only gets me to here. Oh, I think I might, might have picked up some carrots while I was just walking. That would explain it. The more you know. Oops. I remember our, our lab is right there, our meth lab. That we do all of our drugs and make all of our potions and stuff. And I remember I saw I saw Zach here. I saw Zach through the wall when I was at the potions lab and I had no idea how to like where he was. So I just dug through the potions lab and <laughs> I come through and he's like, Matt, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like this isn't where I parked my car. And I just backed up and like closed it. I thought it was funny. I forget where that line originates from. If somebody could like clear that up, that'd be great. So I don't have to Google it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Google it after this. So I don't know. If you guys want to let me know, then cool. Why is there a zombie sound? Why is there a zombie sound? I don't need you, Bone. Cool. It's a damn fine looking farm. Sweet. I'm not sure if you guys can see those Steam notifications in, my, in the bottom right when they just pop up randomly like that. <laughs> I seriously don't know. Because I remember I'd get stuff like that all the time and I would never see any comments about it. So I actually think that you guys can't see it. Just fine by me. Yes, click, 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 clock, bigity butt. Go and put on these. Huh. Yeah, let's get rid of these rails. I was like, hmm. By the way, we are out of rails. Like by a, like out done. It's over. So we need to build a few more of those. Right. Do you guys know the Har Harlem Shake? It's like a new phenomenon on YouTube and stuff. That is some funny shit, man. I don't even care that it's overdone. Like it's it's like everybody's doing it and it's overdone as hell, but it's still funny every single time so far. I know it's gonna get overdone. It's gonna get like like stupid, but Right now, I love it. Also, um, I added I added these poles. Somebody recommended that. I think I didn't mention that in the, my previous episode, but. Oh, also, before we go, um, I just wanna show that I made one more trap. I made the try and run trap, where it's you stand in here, and it just, it just keeps you in. You can't get out. But I know the trick. I know the trick to getting out. Because I know how it's built. Where? There's there's one pad. I think it's this one. Yeah. Every second pad doesn't actually have a uh, redstone current underneath it. Because the way that it is, it's like, it's like this. So. Whenever whenever one of these gets powered, it powers the this. Which powers this. And it just like... It's a weird, it's a weird thing that happens. I don't even fully understand how this one works, but 
hey, it works. So, click. See, look, notice how three go up when I stand on one. Oh, four. Look at that. That shit cray. I think it's this one. Yeah. This is the block. And then what happens, it's cool because I, I like this trap because uh, what happens is when you go onto this one, those one goes down, but this one stays up just because it's one because it like, keeps power on the block. It's kind of funny. Okay. It's getting ridiculous. Let's get me out of here. I don't know if I'm going to do more traps. Well, that's been this episode of Minceraft. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I explained how the track selector works because, I don't know, I thought it was, I think it's interesting. If you guys don't find it interesting, well, to each his own. But I hope I did a good job explaining it to you guys because, I don't know, even if somebody like explains something well to you, you'll probably not understand it, but I hope that the little tiny examples that I did really, really like made things more clear. But other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for my next episodes, I guess. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace. This is the only problem. Oh, see? It gets fixed. I think. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. The whole dark thing it's got going. Pretty cool, actually. Oh, wait. Hold on. Why?